So we all pray together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good afternoon, everyone. Lovely to be here with you. And I love that first hymn that the children's choir sang, Happy in the Presence of the Lord. Boys and girls, I hope you're very happy today. You look a little bit nervous, so I want everyone to keep smiling because we have to be happy today in the presence of Jesus. Be nice and happy, won't you? Um, You look great, and the Lord God has blessed us with a super fine sunny day today. So we really, really feel good about that. So I'm going to invite you all to please be seated. We have already Miss Whelan's class this morning, but we have two classes today. So I'm going to invite Mr. Rourke now to formally call the children from his class. And please, when your name is called, child, just stand there. And then when that's done, then Miss Roach is going to call um, her class. And again, you all stand and stay standing um, when your name is called. Harley Barco, Beth Brady, Alexander Chiselski, Bradley Coyle, Ellie Dargan, Kylie Delaney, Maelise Gandanu, Patrick Horan, Ben Hurley, Libby Kelly, Sarah Costeca, Owen Lambert, Keely McCarthy, Hazel Murphy, Dara Ryan Shannon, Abel Stewart, Jacob Timmons. Lana Abbey, Evan Brennan, Abigail Clear, Freya Coulton, Patrick Delaney O'Brien, Stephen Falola, Theophil Fleischer, Sarah Hayden, James Holden, Connor Kavna, Jake Lawler Maguire, Melanie Maluta, Kyle Nolan, Victor Sikta, Demi Wall, and Casper Podarczyk. Thank you, teachers. So, guys, stay standing. I want to get a good look at you again because you scrub up really well. Let's see those smiles. You're happy in the presence of the Lord. And with your teachers kneeling down or sitting down there now, I'm just conscious that you've done an awful lot of preparation with your teachers. They have worked very, very hard to prepare you for this special day. All right? Also, the parish has prepared well too. Between Suzanne and Katrina and all the different members of the parish have worked hard to make this day very, very special for all of you as well. Your parents have prepared you, and I want to acknowledge and thank the parents for attending our preparation meetings earlier and coming to the special masses and trying to support your child as best you can on this spiritual journey. Of course, you've probably also prepared other things like food and clothes and hairdressers and all those things, but that's all part of this special day as well. I also want to know that, say to you, the choir has been preparing superly. They've been preparing for the last few weeks to make this day very special for you. Catherine, our sacristan, has been hovering and cleaning and all our helpers to make this church very clean and special for your day. The men outside have cut the grass, put up the flags, having everything looking really well for your special day as well. And lots of other preparations goes into today. Um, the flowers that Isabel and Catherine has put up and all of the other things. So guys, you have lots of preparation. And that's good, because when we prepare well, it'll go well. But the most important preparation you can make is to prepare our hearts. We want to be ready to receive Jesus today. And when Jesus comes into your heart, into your soul, you want to be able to tell Jesus you love him and that you want to spread his love as best you can. So boys and girls, close your eyes, please. And I want everyone to close your eyes. We're going to think of little things that maybe we have done wrong and we need to ask God's forgiveness for. Just close your eyes. Everyone, maybe think of things you might have been fighting, maybe you're being nasty or mean or selfish. Maybe you haven't done what you were told. 
you know, when you keep your room tidy or eat up your vegetables or do your homework. Maybe you haven't shared as much as you should. Maybe you had used bad language, maybe, or taken things that didn't belong to you. Maybe you've told little lies. Maybe you haven't worked hard at school and you've been disruptive in class, or whatever. There's all sorts of little examples. There might be a few little things that you've already said sorry for at confession, but we need to say sorry today again because we probably have done them in the meantime, as I told you we would. Okay? So everybody now, please stand and join with the children as we confess our sins together. We pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Great. So now let's all pray out loud the opening prayer. Let's all do it together. So we pray. God, our Father, we are gathered here as your family to remember the things Jesus said and did. We remember especially the night he gave himself to his friends in the bread of life. As we share the bread of life today, we ask you to help us to continue to grow in love for you and for one another. We make our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. So guys, we've been praying there out loud. We've been singing along with the choir as well. Now we come to a listening part. The readings are God's message to all of you and all of us today. So please be seated and listen carefully. I'm going to invite Freya's dad, Jason, um, to read the first reading. Then the choir is going to lead us in the psalm in between. And then James' dad, Fran, you can come up as well and you will do the second reading for us. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippines. Brothers and sisters, don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. With thankful hearts, offer up your prayers and requests to God. Then, because you belong to Christ Jesus, God will bless you with peace that no one can completely understand. And this peace will control the way you think and feel. My friends, keep your minds on whatever is true, pure, holy, and proper. Don't ever stop thinking about what is truly worthy of praise. You know the teachings I gave you, and you know what you heard me say and saw me do. So follow my example, and God, who gives peace, will be with you. The word of the Lord.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. On the night before he died, the Lord Jesus took the bread and said, This is my body. Then he broke the bread and shared it with the apostles. In the same way, he took the cup filled with wine and said, This is my blood. Then he passed the cup around and told them to drink from it. He said to them, Do this in memory of me. The word of the Lord. Please stand for the Gospel acclamation. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In talking to you as I have done, said Jesus, I have one aim in view. I want you to know the happiness I know. I don't want anything to spoil your happiness. This is the secret of it. My secret your secret. Love one another as I have loved you. You are real friends of mine if you do what I have told you. This then is my order. Love one another. This is the gospel of the Lord. I invite you now to be seated for a few moments. We really are blessed with such a lovely fine day, so I don't want to keep you too long today um, because it'd be nice to get back out to the sunshine again. We don't get too much of it. But still, I don't want to um, miss this opportunity with you either just to say a few words to um, parents, families, and above all, to the children. I just say to the parents, first of all, I ask you, or any members, adults, or family members who have received the communion, put up hands How many of you remember your first Holy Communion Day? Not that many. I'm surprised. Up high. Keep them up high. Oh, yeah, that's a bit better. A bit shy. Yeah, good lot. Remember your first Holy Communion Day. Keep the hands up. Because now I want to ask you, how many of you still have your first communion money? (laughs) Most of you. Leanne, I think you have, you have, have you? Yeah, good. Um, okay, I remember my first Holy Communion, and it was a long time before most of you made your first Holy Communion. I remember it really well because it was this very, very special day. After the Mass, we were brought into the convent, which was beside the church in Abilix, and we were all given two sausages for our breakfast. I remember that. That was a special, because that back then... To get a sausage was um, very, very um, a big treat back then. But I also remember back then that every Sunday we always went to Mass. We would scrub ourselves the night before and be nice and clean, getting our showers or our baths. Then after breakfast the next morning, we would all go as a family to Mass. And then after Mass, we would come home we would get our dinner, and then we'd go off to a match, whether we were playing or whether we just went to watch a team play. That was life back then. Everybody did it like that, because there was no football or no dancing or no drama or nothing else on a Sunday morning, no sleep either. that people just went to mass. And maybe some people didn't understand it or didn't know what was going on, But I do know for myself that by going to Mass with my family back then, it gave me a great love for the Mass. And ever since then, I got to know more and more about Mass, and I learned more and more about it. And I realized it's an unbelievable pleasure to be able and privilege to be able to go to Mass on a Sunday. When we really understand what is happening, that Jesus is giving himself to us, in the form of the Eucharist, that we can actually receive Jesus. 
That's an amazing thing when you think about it. But if you believe that with your heart, it is something, something really special. Boys and girls, I hope you remember your first Holy Communion Day for a long time. And you will remember it for the special day. And that as you grow older, I'm praying for you too, that you will get to know more and more about the Mass and get to love the Mass more and more. Okay? Keep remembering your first Holy Communion Mass. Today you receive a special type of food. Do you like food? Yes. Okay, just look up at the screen and put up hands and tell me who you see on the screen. Yes? Garfield. That's right. Garfield. Garfield is a what? Huh? A cat. That's right. Yeah. Um, and then Garfield used to like a certain type of food. Can you remember the type of food that Garfield used to like? Lasagna. Yes. Was Garfield thin or fat? Yeah? He was fat. Yes, he was. So, does that tell us lasagna makes us fat? Okay. Lasagna makes us fat. Is that right? But up hands mammies who has lasagna for afterwards. <laughs> so just be careful. Lasagna makes you fat. Okay. I love it too. That's, but I don't eat too much. That's why I'm so skinny. Okay. Secondly, who does this guy? Mammy, mammies and daddies will remember this guy. What do you call that guy? Yeah? Popeye. Popeye. And what was Popeye's girlfriends known as? Yes? Olive oil, olive oil, olive oil, that's right. And olive oil used to have a great fancy for Popeye. But even though Popeye had a bigger fancy, I think, for olive oil. But because he was so puny and skinny, he, she used to look away. So he had to eat something. What did um, Popeye eat? Can you remember? Spinach. And that made him strong. So what does spinach do? It makes you strong. What does lasagna do? Makes you fat. And what does um, spinach do? Make you strong. Yes. Okay. Vegetables are good for you. That's why we use vegetables a lot. Okay. Carrots is good for you too. What does carrots help you with? Yes? Your eyes. It's very good for your eyesight. Thank you. Well done. Carrots is good for your eyesight. Onions, it's good for you. Besides making your eyes water, what else are they good for? They put hairs in your chest. Okay, so that's what onions are good for. Okay, another type of food is fish. What's fish good for? What's fish for, good for, yeah? Your brains, well done. Fish is good for brains. So guys, food, lots of food adds has a different effects on it. So what does lasagna do? I'll ask the woman who has it for dinner today. What's <laughs> you? What does lasagna do? <laughs> Makes you fat. What does spinach do? Makes you? You can show it out. What does it do? Strong. What does carrots do? Good for your eyes. What is um, fish? Brains, onions, hairs on your chest. Okay, so food is all good. Now we come to another type of food. We come to bread. You see all the different types of breads? There's bread rolls, there's slices of bread, there's pizza bread, there is bun bread, your mammy's nice favorite brown bread, all of the different types of bread. What does bread do to you? Bread gives us energy. Oh, yes. Bread gives us energy. We need bread to have energy. But you know the little piece of bread that will be blessed in a few moments, will that give you much energy? Not in the sense that we think of, but it will give us a special type of energy. What would you think of energy it will give us? It will give us energy to... Energy to... 
Pray, yes, good. Another four letter word. Begins with L. Love. It will give us energy to love. And if you listen to the gospel, that Jesus said, I one order, one command, you just love one another. And every time you go to Mass, you will get energy to love. Okay? When we receive Jesus today in the form of the bread, but it will be blessed by them, how do we know it becomes Jesus? How do we know? It was said already at Mass today from the second reading. What did the second reading tell us? At the Last Supper, Jesus said something. This is, yes, this is my body. Well done. Jesus said at the Last Supper, this is my body. That's how we know it's Jesus. Because Jesus himself said, this is my body. That's how we know. So when we receive communion today, boys and girls, we receive Jesus inside ourselves. And when we have Jesus inside ourselves, we have energy to love. We have energy to love. That's the whole purpose. And then at the end, he said something powerful at last supper. He said, this is my blood as well. And then at the end, he said, do this in memory of me. Do you remember that? We told you that earlier on at our meetings. Do this in memory of me. We are here today, boys and girls, in the memory of Jesus. Boys and girls, I hope you will always appreciate what happens at Mass, that you get energy to love. I'm praying that just as I, as a little boy, made my first communion, I got to love Mass. Now, it was hard at times to be told to go to Mass, but we kept going, and I got to love it, and I got to really understand. And when you do that, you get great energy to love. Boys and girls, I hope that your parents will keep bringing you to Mass. I couldn't go because we live nearly three miles from the church. I couldn't go unless my parents brought me. It's too far to walk. But I'm hoping your parents will continue to bring you to Mass. Jesus asked us, he said, do this in memory of me. He's asking us to come to Mass in his memory and to receive energy to love. It's not I'm saying it. It's Jesus is saying it. And parents and families... We live in an Ireland today. I do think we need Jesus more and more, and we need God. And God makes it very clear. He says, this is how I want you to pray to me. Come to Mass. Do this in memory of me. I'm hoping, boys and girls, that you will come to Mass tomorrow morning as well. I would love to see you. It's half eleven, our family Mass. Come with your clothes, your lovely communion clothes. Let the parish community who comes here to this, our family Mass, see you and appreciate the great effort and work that you have put into today and um, give you a, a full welcome into the community as well. Try, and for the next few Sundays, make the most of those lovely First Communion clothes. Keep, keep coming to Mass. Half eleven on a Sunday morning, if you can, or half six on a Saturday evening, or nine o'clock Sunday morning. But the family Mass is a nice, because the small ones can come as well to that. Okay? Try and promise me, parents, to keep I'm bringing them. I just feel we do need Jesus. We're going to a very odd place in our country at the moment where Jesus is being pushed out. And I don't know if it's that happy of a place to be and without Jesus. Jesus will make us happy because he said, I want you to be happy. And I want you to be happy by praying and loving together. Okay? So let's all please stand now. I'm going to ask Dara's brother now to Caden to lead us, please, in the prayers of the faithful. We pray, we pray for these children as they celebrate their first Holy Communion today. May they always try to live like Jesus and to grow more like him as they follow him each day of their lives. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We ask God to bless the parents, guardians, and family of the children. We thank them for the love and guidance they give, and may they continue to support them on their faith journey. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We ask God to bless the children's teachers and all who helped them come to this happy day. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. 
We pray for Pope Francis, Bishop Dennis, and all the priests and religious. Lord, give them strength and courage to lead our church. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who are sick, lonely, or rejected, that as Christians we may reach out to them in the love of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Thank you, Caden. So we remember, too, our faithful departed. We pray for all our absent friends today who are in heaven. We think of them this day. We make our own special prayer today, too, whatever prayer is in our hearts. Lord, hear us. So, Lord, these are our prayers. We make them to you. We make them to Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now we're going to continue with the Eucharist, the Mass, where the bread and wine. I'm going to invite you to be seated, please. And for the children who do it very regularly with us here at our Mass, Lana, Sarah, Patrick, and Libby, go down there to Sharon, and you're going to bring up to the, offertory, up to the altar the gifts of bread and wine. So now pray, friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. God, our Father, we come before you with gladness and joy today. Accept the gifts we bring of bread and wine, beautiful gifts from your earth. To sharing the bread of life, help us make our prayer through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We thank you today, God, for all the good things that you have done for us. We thank you for our beautiful world. We thank you for all the things in our world. We thank you for the gifts you have given us. We thank you for giving us our family and our friends, our teachers and our parish. Especially we thank you for sending us your son Jesus to save us. So with all the saints and the angels we rejoice, we praise you, as we all say now together, so we pray from the screens, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. I invite you all now to kneel. We come to the special part of our Mass. We're going to do exactly what Jesus did on the Last Supper bread and wine will be blessed, we will hear the words, this is my body, this is my blood, do this in memory of me. 
Yes, Lord, you are holy. You sent your son into the world. He was born as a little baby in the stable at Bethlehem. He came to us because he wanted to tell us in our language what we must do to be saved. He wants us to love God and he wants us to love one another. He has invited us to come to this Mass today and to do what he did. Father, we want you now to bless the gifts of bread and wine, make them holy, change them into the body and blood of Jesus. Before Jesus died, he had supper with his friends. At the meal, he took the bread, he blessed it, gave it to his friends, and he said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Then he took the cup of wine, he gave the cup to his friends, and he said these words, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Then he said to them, Do this in memory of me. So now we have Jesus on the altar in the form of the Eucharist, the bread and wine. We heard the words, we heard the bell ring. So in our hearts, not in our minds, in our hearts, we acknowledge that Jesus is here with us in the Mass. And then he said, I want all my followers to gather at Mass to remember what he has done for all of us. So now let us proclaim together the mystery of our faith. So God, we remember with joy that Jesus came to save each of us. We remember that Jesus was born and died. While Jesus is now in heaven, he is also here with us, especially when we say our prayers, when we come to Mass, he's with us in a real special way, and when we love each other. God, you invite us to come to Mass today and every day to be filled with the joy of Jesus being with us. We remember Francis, our Pope, and Dennis, our Bishop, and all people who work for peace and who bring happiness to others. Help us all to be good followers of Jesus and to spread his love to all we meet. Today we remember all our loved ones who have died. Keep them safe for us until we meet them again in heaven. And so we pray through him, with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. So that amen, guys, is saying that we really now believe with our hearts that Jesus is with us. That's what amen means. So let's all stand now. We're coming near the time when you're going to receive Jesus. And let's all pray now together his special prayer. We pray to a loving Father God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin, safe from all worries, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. So now the peace of the Lord be with you always. So now we wish goes around us the peace of Jesus. So just give them a little wave, wishing all those God's peace today. So now let's all stay together. So look up at the screens, we pray. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Invite everyone now to please kneel, because we're getting ready now to receive Jesus. So now, boys and girls, mammies and daddies, and all of us, this has become Jesus, and all the small little hosts in the plate. This is Jesus, who died on the cross, who rose again, who has told us that this is his body and this is his blood, who has given us energy to love. This is Jesus who invites us to bring his love to everyone. Happy are we to be called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So now just for Holy Communion, the children will stand in a moment and they will pray their prayer before Holy Communion. So I'm going to invite them to stand and now, ready? All the children just stand and it's on the screen, so we're going to pray together. Ready? Out loud. Lord Jesus, come to me. Lord Jesus, give me your love. Lord Jesus, come to me and give me yourself. Lord Jesus, friend of children, come to me. Lord Jesus, you are my Lord and my God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well done. Okay, guys, you can kneel down again. And so for communion, I'm going to say to parents, guardians, one or two, F2 there is great. You brought your child to be baptized all those years ago. You brought him to first confession. And they came back and they gave you a hug. It was your very much part of their faith journey with them, as you still are. So for communion, I'm going to invite the parents, both parents, to come up, or one if there's only one. You got the video that Katrina sent you on WhatsApp, so you know how the children receive. Girls, if you have any gloves, maybe you can just take them off now as you come up as well. Parents, make sure that's happening. You can put it back on again then afterwards. And the children and the parents and guardians will receive first and then anybody else who would like to receive the Eucharist ministers will be here for them as well. So just follow the teachers and the stewards who are going to direct the children up. And then, and I, can I just say, everybody is so prayerful and respectful, and I appreciate that. Thank you. But this is the real special moment, and I know you will continue um, to keep this moment very, very special for the children, for their parents and families as they come forward.
Okay, well done, boys and girls. Everyone you received so respectfully and reverently. Thank you very much. Thanks, parents and guardians as well. So hopefully now that you have Jesus within you, you have what? Energy to? Energy to? Energy to? Loud, louder. Love. Well done, back there. Good. Now, you want to thank God for sending us Jesus and that you can receive him for the first time in Holy Communion. Boys and girls, you stand again because you're going to say your prayer after Holy Communion now. You ready? Stand up there. So you ready? Lord, out loud, come on. Lord Jesus, I love and adore you. You're a special friend to me. Welcome, Lord Jesus, oh welcome. Thank you for coming to me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, oh thank you. For giving yourself to me, make me strong to show your love wherever I may be. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask you to stay close by me forever and love you, me, I pray. Bless all of us children in your loving care. Bring us to heaven to live with you there. I'm ready now, Lord Jesus, to show how much I care I'm ready now to show your love at home and everywhere. Amen. To show your love at home and everywhere, right? That includes the school and on the football field and everywhere from now on. Okay. So you can sit down again, boys. And just before we finish, the sun is really shining, so I want to get you out there to get your photographs or whatever. Just a few practical things. At the end of the final hymn, I was going to say the final whistle, but the final hymn, um, just at the end, each class both Mr. Rourke's and Miss Roach's class will be called up separately so they can have a little class photograph as well. I know there's some from other classes, but they're with siblings. You come up with your sibling as well. And then um, they'll be asked to leave, and then um, you can take some individual photographs as well as, you can, as much as you can. Just be a little bit conscious, but I think we have plenty of time. We're not under pressure too much, but there is a funeral coming in at half two, so just be conscious of that as well. Um, I want to say to you, um, to the boys and girls, congratulations, and well done. You are super. So again, let us give the children a good round of applause. How good they were. Thank you very much. You have loads, loads of energy now. So keep that smiling on all day now and every time. And I do look forward to, and hopefully we will see you tomorrow and many, many other Sundays as well. Thank you. Thank you again, parents, for your support to us, for your support to the program, for coming to our meetings, to our special masses. Thank you. Thank you, those two who um, made donations towards the running costs of our programs as well. Appreciate that. Thank you very much for that as well. I want to also say... Um, parents, congratulations. It's a big, proud moment for you as well. And in thanking you, I want to thank everyone in the church because this was really been a very, very respectful, reverent ceremony. And that's what we try to aim as much as possible. So thank you for your reverence and for your respect and for our church service today. So thank you very much. Again, I just want to acknowledge Amelia and the leaders and the children's choir. Um, they're just a super bunch. Um, in between, they had a lovely party there that Isabel had prepared for them as well. But the thing at so many times, the practice every um, Saturday from half three to half four, if you'd like your child to join them, please do. They're the happiest, joyful bunch of children you could ever come across. So, um, guys, thank you very, very much as well for that. Thank you.
Um, our leaders now up there, particularly Amelia and Amy, they got great direction from Jessica, who's over here, who's back today. So it's lovely to have Jessica with us today as well, um, all the work she did with the choir over the years. So thank you. Thanks again to everybody who took part. We do mention them all at the start, but just to acknowledge and thank those who got everything ready. And I want to thank Jack, who did the slides for us today. Thank you. And our three servers, Benedict, um, Keen, and Craig. Thank you as well. And Catherine Saxton, who puts huge work into everything. And again, to acknowledge Suzanne and Katrina, um, Suzanne, our Sark Medical Coordinator, and Katrina, our um, Pastor Minister. Huge, huge work they do as well. Thank them. Again, to thank our teachers. Thank you, guys. Um, they were so, so well. You must be so, so proud of the wonderful um, way they were today and how well you have prepared them. Thank you. And I came in here yesterday evening, and the teachers and Miss Whelan and Sharon, they were putting up the lovely artwork that the kids did. It's down at the back. Please look at it before you go. It's just spectacular. It's down there in the back on the boards. Before you leave, just make sure you look at your child's name and their little piece of artwork. It is very, very special. Thanks to Mr. Bolton and Mr. Brennan as well for being with us and for all the teachers I know um, Kira is here as well um, she's here and other teachers came earlier so thank you for all the work you do for our faith formation of our schools and again thanks and acknowledge Sharon for the great work she's been here and with us all day as well and the great work she has done behind the scenes thank you thanks again to Liam Dooley chairman of the board who does huge work for our school as you know as well thank you so everybody thank you so much so have a great day guys enjoy it um, get out there in the sun, get on the bouncy castles and um, have a great day. So we stand then um, and we will say our concluding prayer together. So let's all pray. God, our Father, you have given us the bread of life. May we go from Mass to live and love as you ask us to. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us this day now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So this lovely celebration, this Mass is ended. We will go now in peace with a huge amount of energy to love those around us. Thanks be to God. Amen. have the children from Miss Roach's class up on the steps please and the others just stay in their seats for another minute or two
Mr. Grokslas, if Mr. Grokslas can come up to the altar, please. Okay, sorry now guys, can everybody let Mr. Grog's class come up please? We don't want to leave anybody out, so Mr. Grog's class. <laughs> 